Hello and welcome. Today we're working on inventory, the LIFO and FIFO and weighted average methods. We'll work a problem, so let's get started. If you're new here, my name's Jeff from Finally Learn, where I teach accounting, finance, uh, a lot of times using Excel. So we're in the middle of the financial accounting chapters. We're in chapter five, inventory and costs of goods sold. I've got articles, I've got videos, playlists, so on. So Please subscribe and please like, and we'll see you on the next videos. Now, inventory and costs of goods sold, we're working with two different systems, periodic and perpetual. Periodic, we keep up with inventory and costs of goods sold at the end of the period. And then perpetual is inventory and costs of goods sold is always updated. Now, there are four different, really, methods. The first method uh, is if you actually know the items you sell, we call that specific identification. If not, then we make an inventory assumption. So number two through four, these are inventory assumptions. We use the first in, first out method, we call it FIFO, or the last in, first out method, we call that LIFO, or the weighted average. So we have a average of the two. So FIFO and LIFO are kind of extremes. FIFO, we assume the first items purchased are the first ones sold, and LIFO means we assume the last units purchased are the first sold. So let's show this with a problem. So let's say we have, in the month of June, we have beginning inventory, and we purchased 25 at $10. Then we had another purchase of 50 at 15, 70 at $17, and 35 more at $20. Now, what I'm showing is increasing prices. So if there's inflation or increasing prices, then uh, they it is a difference between the LIFO and the FIFO, and we're going to show you how this works. All right, so one thing you want to do on this is you want to figure out well, what's the cost, how many units are we talking about, what's the cost of all those units, and then we also sold 45 and 55. Now, we're going to do Fill out this little chart here. We're going to do FIFO and LIFO and weighted average periodic. So the dates won't really matter. And then we'll do FIFO and LIFO perpetual where the dates of the 15th and the 24th is going to matter. All right, so let's do this. We have the 25 times the $10. So we spent $250 on that beginning inventory. And we're going to do that all the way down. So here we have, get rid of the pennies here. Here we have the total of $2,890. We have total goods available of $2,890. How many units did we have? Well, we had 180 units that cost us a total of $2,890. Well, how many did we sell? Well, we sold 100. So we had 180 to sell. We sold 100, and so what LIFO and FIFO do is they try to figure out, well, which 100 did we sell? If we assume FIFO, we start from the top, and we sold the first 100. If we do LIFO, then we start at the bottom, and the bottom 100. Now, one of the things we need to know is remember how to calculate costs of goods sold. This is our formula. Beginning inventory plus purchases gives us goods available minus any inventory gives us costs of goods sold. And so what the LIFO and FIFO and the weighted average do for us is it lets us estimate the assumption of which one is sold, so that's costs of goods sold, and then which one did we not sell, that's any inventory. All right, so let's do the first one, FIFO periodic. So the dates are not important. We don't, we, the order is, but the dates don't really matter. So we sold 100. And if we're assuming FIFO, then we sold the first 100. So we start at the top, 25 plus 50 plus we need 25 more. So how much did we sell? So let me do the, the cost of goods sold, what we sold. We sold the 25, that's 250, plus we sold 50 more, that's 75, plus we sold 25 more times the seventeen dollars. So we sold all of the twenty-five. We sold the next fifty, 
and then we needed 25 more because we're trying to get to 100 items we sold. So if this is 1425, then what is our ending inventory? Well, we can start at the bottom and count the 80 we didn't sell, or we know that goods available, this is goods available, goods available is 28.90 if we sold 14.25. Let me show you what I mean here. If our beginning inventory is 250 and then we purchased 750 plus 11.90 plus 700. Well, what's our goods available? Our goods available is 28.90. If we say our cost of goods sold is 14.25, then what's our ending inventory? 28.90 minus the 1425. So that's going to be 1465. So I'm going to take the goods available minus the cost of goods sold and we'll get ending inventory. So under the FIFO periodic method, then we have cost of goods sold is 1425 and our ending inventory is 1465. To get LIFO periodic, we're going to start from the bottom. So we'll have the 100 items that we purchased at the very end. That's going to be the first ones we sell. We're going to assume that our LIFO cost of goods sold is going to be the 35 times the 20, that's 700, plus another 65. We're at 35. We need to get to 100. 65 times the $17. This 65, this level costs $17 each. So then we multiply that out and add it together and we're at $18.05. Well, if our goods available is $28.90 minus the $18.05, then we say our ending inventory must be $1,085. Now what about weighted average periodic? We're not going to do the perpetual and weighted average. We'll just do the weighted average periodic. Now, here's what we have. We're going to say that the $28.90 divided by the $18, I'm sorry, the $180 is going to be something like $16 and a half cents, or five cents rather. $16.05, five and a half cents. So we sold how many items? Well, we sold 100 items times the 16, and we're going to make it a whole dollar here. We might have decimals, but we're not going to keep up with decimals. We're going to use whole dollars. So 16.06, and so what is our ending inventory? Well, the 28.90 minus the 16.06 is 12.84. So you see if we do LIFO or FIFO or weighted average, we're going to have different numbers. We'll have LIFO, we'll have the, the largest cost of goods sold if prices rise, and FIFO will have the largest ending inventory. All right, let's go on down to the perpetual methods. Now, here's a little trick. FIFO perpetual is going to be always the same as FIFO periodic. So you don't have to run FIFO perpetual. You can just do it periodic. And we'll just point to this. This is our answer for FIFO perpetual. Now we do need to do LIFO perpetual. Okay, now here's what happens. We need to come up with the dates are important. So now when we're doing perpetual, the dates matter. The dates matter. So I'm just going to go over here on the side and just kind of um, start figuring out what we had and, and what point. So on beginning inventory, we purchased 25 at $10. Okay. Now this is the LIFO perpetual, so we have to keep up with the dates. So June 1st, and then we've got June 10th. So what else happens on June 10th? We purchased 50 at $15 each. Okay. Now we sold on the 15th, we sold 45. Well, which 45 did we sell? Well, we sold the last 45, right? We sold the last 45. So this level here, 
Now here's the challenge when I'm doing an Excel, I can't show, I can't cross it out and, and put another number. So you'll have to see, watch this. So you'll see 50 minus the 45, I'm left with five at $15. We wipe out that level, 45 of the 50. All right, the next thing that happens is we have the 20th, we purchase 70 in the amount of $17 each. And then we sold the next one, the 20th and the 24th, we sold 55. So we had 70 available, we sold 55, so how many are left? Well, 70 minus 55 is gonna be 15. So we have 15 items left. And then the last thing that happens is we had a purchase of 35 at $20. So we have 35 at $20. So it's going to be easy to figure out the calculation here for ending inventory. I've got 25 plus 5, that's 30, plus 15, that's 45, plus 35, that's the 80 that we didn't sell. So what is the cost of all this? Well, uh, 25 times 10, 5 times 15, 15 times $17, and we've got 35 times 20. So the cost of all this is our ending inventory is gonna be 1280. So 1280 is our ending inventory. So what is our cost of goods sold? Our cost of goods sold is 2890, the available, minus the 1280, which we said is our ending inventory. So 1610. So based on our Original numbers, these are the answers for any inventory and cost of goods sold for FIFO, LIFO, and weighted average under periodic, and then FIFO perpetual and LIFO perpetual. Let's think about why would you pick the FIFO method? Well, if we assume inflation and prices rise, then it gives you a lower cost of goods sold. The older items are cheaper. So it gives us a higher inventory, but a higher net income. And then uh, on the income tax, you think, well, it'd probably be higher since you have higher net income. Now the LIFO method, now LIFO is not allowed for IFRS, the International Financial Reporting Standards. It is allowed in US GAAP. And so why would you pick LIFO? Well, it means you, have, you sell your more recent costs, which are higher, and your net income is lower, but the thought is you could lower your income tax by using the LIFO method. All right, hope this is helpful. Please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Good luck in accounting.